Hi everyone and welcome to the result of November goal of the month. As well in this video I'm going to be doing a little bit of an update regarding how the rest of this season might look but without further ado let's get into this into this starting as always with uh, goal of the month and in fourth place you have gone for this. Oh. So spending me were on the day beaten by Gateshead at home, but all the same that was a pretty good strike to be fair and it really it came out of nowhere. I mean in terms of spending Mewer's overall performance that day, they were very uninspiring. Uh, it was quite it was an otherwise re relatively comfortable afternoon for the Heed really. Uh, but um all the same that was a great strike. Uh, not much not a lot Chapman could have could have done with that really. Uh, first time, plenty of pace on it in, into the top corner. Sometimes you just got to hold your hand up and say a good finish. But it is ultimately it is only you. You guys have, have decided it's only good enough for fourth place. And in third place, you have gone for this. <laughs> Excellent free kick there by the Hartlepool player. Again, they were eventually beaten on the night by uh, Newport, but at that stage of the game, they're really starting to get back into the crowd. We're starting to get up as well, and we're sort of dominating really. So I think that goal was coming, in and and when it came, what a goal it was! Um, and and as well, uh, quite a noise after it went in. So so yeah. Um, so that is your choice for third place this month, and the runner-up for November 2021 is this. The second of three Gateshead goals at Altrincham, and um, yeah, probably the, the pick of the bunch on the night. Uh, I didn't catch it brilliantly on camera, but if if you know if you've, if you've seen the the visual, visual highlights you know the Dan Ward um, taking it from outside the outside the box and firing it in, into the corner really good good goal to be fair definitely um, as I said the pick of the bunch from what was the most memorable night so far this season but in terms of this goal of the month competition it has been pipped to the post and it and your winner for November 2021 is this. Oh, what a goal. Can't have many complaints about that, really. Brilliant solo effort to get past two Red Griff like defenders by the Whitley Bay player, then to dink it over the keeper the way he did. Um, and that, at the time, completed a great comeback because they were, they were 2 0 down. Whitley Bay then obviously that was was the third goal to make it three two two uh Whitley Burns. From there they went on on to win. So um it, so they completed the comeback and they certainly completed it in style. I'll have no complaints about that being being number one for this month. So for the second time this season, well done Whitley Bay, you are the winners of goal of the month. Now I'm gonna have a do a little bit of an update regarding um, how the rest of this season might sort of pan out. Obviously, since I did that Q and A video the other week, um, things have changed a bit. Um, new COVID restrictions, both here and um, on the continent, etc., have been uh, introduced. But um, in terms of uh, sort of the next few weeks and the run up to Christmas, it shouldn't change that much really. Obviously. Um, I'll still be watching Gateshead, and uh, I've got got a few uh, Northern League games lined up as well. Um, so obviously, uh, at the weekend, be, be, I'm heading to uh, Farsley Celtic as you'd expect. Um, then next week, I'll either have the North Riding Cup tie on the Wednesday. This is because I can't do a game on a Tuesday next week. But on the Wednesday, either a game in the North Riding Senior Cup or in the Durham Challenge Cup. I've not nothing sort of concluded on it just yet um 
trip to Sunderland West End next Friday. Um, Gateshead did rearrange the uh, Brackley game um, for Saturday the 18th, when, which is obviously the same day as the next round of the FA Trophy. But since both teams are out, um, wise decision really. Uh, saves Brackley the best part of a 500 mile round trip on a Tuesday night and um, maybe boosts our chances of getting a decent sort of crowd in as well. Um, yeah, I'm not sure where I'll be heading in the sort of weekly, not to Christmas. Obviously on Boxing Day is Gates against Blythe still. Uh, nothing's changed there. Um, unfortunately, the triple header on the 27th of December is now on, is now just going to be a double header because uh, um, like Newcastle against Man United tickets just went like absolute hotcakes, to be honest with you. Uh, there was absolutely no chance I could have got one. Um, but... All the same, Thornaby against Redcar Athletic and Shielding against Yorkshire Amateur should lead to a pretty good day. Um, I'll say on, on the 28th, Darlington against Gateshead. Uh, looking forward to that one. Um, and A new game to round off 2021, I think in the last video it was set as being Nottingham Forest against Huddersfield, was it? Um, I, I can't remember to be honest, but that got changed to Thursday, which I can't do, so... Um, Instead, we'll be rounding off 2021 with a trip to the New York Stadium for Rotherham United versus Lincoln City. Uh, and starting 2021, 2022, sorry, uh, obviously I was meant to be starting at Harrogate Railway, but I went out at the weekend and the, the game for the new year got changed to Bank Holiday Monday anyway. So instead, we're starting off at Ashton United versus Staley Bridge Celtic. So a bit of a local derby there. That should be an interesting one. Uh, then, obviously, over to Blythe on Sunday, the 2nd of January. Um, a bit of a change to um, that Bank Holiday Monday. Um, on So Monday, the 3rd of January, it'll be um, Nottingham Forest versus Barnsley, followed by Borash Victoria against Graham Street Prims. Um, that's still... Like, that's... Um, that's the way it is as it stands. Like, obviously, like a lot of these fixtures I'm reading out could change for whatever reason. Um, so yeah, that's sort of the gist of what's coming up over the next few weeks. In terms of the rest of the season, um, obviously, uh, like there's, they've now introduced vaccine passports and, and whatever, which um, I, I am double jabbed, I'll happily tell you that. Um, and I've got my boost coming up pretty shortly as well. So, um, in, in terms of in terms of me personally, it's like um, I'll, I'll still be alright. But I do, I don't mean I, I agree with uh, the concept of vaccine passports. But that's um, that's just that, that's just my opinion. I'm not really going. I can't really be bothered going into detail about it because it'll just cause arguments. Um, but FA Cup third round weekend, obviously Gates had an hour out of the FA Cup, but that doesn't mean I have to stop. Um, uh, obviously today they announced the TV fixtures um, and uh, I think on Monday the 10th of January um, I'll be heading to, hopefully I'll be, be able to go to Man United versus Aston Villa. Um, I don't agree with that being on, on the telly like, because uh, I think like, I think when it's the FA Cup third round, they need to be showing ties that resemble what that round's all about, where where teams that wouldn't face each other normally do come up against each other. Like, like what 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 you're getting with uh, Chelsea against Chesterfield. Um, but I'll say that has sort of worked in my favour. So, fingers crossed I can get a ticket for that one. I'll sort of maybe find out over the next maybe week, so I'm not sure. Um, but... In terms of other tyres I could potentially get to, um, just bear with me a second, um, like Newcastle against Cambridge, as long as it um, doesn't, as long as the kickoff time d doesn't clash with Gates it against Chorley, uh, which is also that same weekend, it should be alright for that really, um, although if it's... If that's an early kick off, I probably won't won't bother. Um, if if it's an evening kick off, then uh, 
but then I'll just uh, get get across the Tyne as quickly as I can, then then go to that. Or if, or if it's on a Sunday, that should be it should be fine. Um, but other than that, way like, we'll just have to see if uh, if any other tyres get changed for for whatever for whatever reason. Um, like. If, say for example, a foreign TV channel wants to show it, as was the case with a few of the ties a couple of years ago, and uh, and I think as a result of that, I was able to go to Newcastle beat Blackburn after a Gateshead game one. So I mean, the less said about that particular Gateshead game, the better. Like, but um, but there you go. Uh, as from there, um, Motherwell, um, like, there's not really at the minute. What I can do in terms of getting up there, but I'm going to keep looking, keep trying. Um, I know I've still got a game against Celtic, which at Fair Park, which obviously has a good chance of being of being switched to Sunday because of, because no doubt Sky will want to show that one. So um, if that does move to Sunday, then I will be going to that game. That's like there's no two ways about that. Uh, but if not, I'm just going to keep trying, like. See how far Motherwell go in the Scottish Cup or whatever, and uh, even just see what what the post split fixtures look like. There's always there's always that that could potentially work in my favour. But I am absolutely determined to get to fair part this season. Even if I have to leave it until the last day of the season, I'll, I will get to a Motherwell game of some sort this year, whether that be at fair park or at somewhere else I will get there before long so um so yeah uh in terms of the Germany trip that's looking a bit touch and go at the minute to be honest with you because uh, obviously Germany um has massive restrictions on um on how many can go into a football ground at the minute and obviously the the unvaccinated over there they're currently in lockdown which I know wouldn't affect me because I'm vaccinated I mean um but all the same, we just have to wait and see how it goes over the next few months. I mean, to be honest, like nobody even knows what what situation is going to be like with COVID tomorrow. So, um, so how you could predict what it's going to be like in in the middle of April is absolutely beyond me. So, um, we we'll just have to just have to keep tabs on that. If it turns out we can't go, then um, we'll just have to find something. We'll just have to find get games to go to. Over here, I mean, obviously, they'll still be at Geisley against Gateshead on Good Friday and Gates against Darlington on Easter Monday. Um, but in terms of Easter Saturday, maybe even Easter Sunday, I'll just have to, I'll just have to find something, find the games on either in England, Scotland or Wales, won't I? Or maybe, maybe Northern Ireland as well. Um, so we'll just, we'll just have to, just have to keep tabs on it. That's, let's like, play it by ear. That's all, all I can do at the minute, to be honest with you. Um, other than that, that's not a lot to sort of report on, really. I mean, um, I'm just looking at my own personal fixture list here. Uh, May is still looking a bit blank other than for the two Gateshead games schedule for there because it's, it's a bit pointless planning May, like, at, at the minute, like, because for a number of reasons, you don't know um, what the post-split fixtures are going to look like in Scotland. Um, don't know if Gateshead are going to be in the playoffs, which um, which way it's going at the minute, there is potentially a good chance that we will be. So, um, and obviously the, the dates aren't, aren't finalised for the playoffs yet. Um, yeah, so there's just, and obviously there's playoffs, like playoffs in other leagues, etc. will be happening around that time. So it's, it's basically impossible to plan May, but other than that, it's just, uh, just fairly standard stuff, really. Just uh, going to Gates, everyone have a Gates that are playing, then uh, you sort of mix of of games in the Northern League, um, games, um, like, games in other league, fingers crossed, uh, like, one of Gates' outstanding fixtures won't be rescheduled for... Uh, February the 8th because I'd like to do a second game between Scarborough and Whitby um, obviously the, the first video went down pretty well and I enjoyed making it so um, could have could, could do that all that again at, at the Flamingo Land Stadium that would be absolutely ideal um, 
missed out on Newcastle against Man United, but I am holding out for Newcastle versus Everton in February, which is on a Wednesday night, unless there's a unless Newcastle have a have a game moved to a a, a Sunday or or a Monday that I could potentially do. Where I mean, I mean to be honest, like I know it's not great for a lot of people, but. But Mondays, if I'm to do a Premier League game, are probably my best night because um, it's probably when I'm going to be most free. So, um, so we'll just have to keep keep all eyes eyes open. That's all. That's all I got for you, really, in terms of the update. Um, and on that note, that is that for this video. I'll be back on Saturday with Farsley Celtic versus Gateshead. So excited for that, especially with the way we're going at the minute. Um, It'll be a tricky game. They've been a bit of a boggy side for us over the last couple of years. So um, you never know. Might this might be the time we can break the curse against them? But I'll say whatever happens, I'll be there and I'll be providing a video for you. So until then, take care, and I will see you later.